is that time of the week. I'm so excited to do this video. So for those of you who are new, I'm Hattie and for my returning subscribers, welcome back. So as you can see, it's all about how to live a healthy lifestyle and build consistency around fitness and making it easy. Whether you work a nine to five job, whether you're at school, whether you're at uni, or whether you just can't be bothered, this video will help. I'm gonna start off this video with the main thing that you really need to sit back and think about, and that is your why. Why are you wanting to be physically active? What is your purpose behind your exercise? Something that gets people initially exercising is because they wanna change how they look. And unfortunately, that is not a sustainable way to make exercise a long lasting thing within your life. So for me personally, I find fitness goals really motivating and challenging, but in a positive way to the point where I want to see what my body can do. There's no denying that exercise makes us feel good mentally. It can just improve our overall image of ourselves. And trust me, when you become consistent, like, the visual side of things will just come with it. But you need to have a deeper internal motivator as to why you're wanting to exercise. Think about that and now we can get into the fun part. A little disclaimer, you're not always gonna be motivated. You're not always gonna feel like it. And trust me, I know, I don't always feel like it. Mixing up the type of exercise that you do um, can keep it interesting. Our bodies like variety, our body likes change. Shock the body, as people like to say. Challenge yourself in ways that you haven't. I think it's really important to listen to your body as well. So if you're going through quite a stressful point in your life, it might be better to take the approach of yoga or Pilates. Like I said, it goes the same with our food. Like we need to keep it as much variety as possible because that's how our body is going to thrive. And dependent on the type of fitness and exercise that you do, you're using different systems within the body, um, different muscles within the body. And we want to try and utilize as many different muscles as we can possible because at the end of the day that is going to improve our longevity and improve how we are in later life so i'm gonna get a coffee and i can't wait i'm so excited i love coffee it just mm, brings me so much joy um can i please just get an almond milk latte with honey and a mug please awesome thank you Okay guys, so the next tip on how to live a fit life and make it a part of your everyday routine is scheduling it in to your calendar, whether you use a diary, whether you use your phone calendar, book in your times for when you're wanting to move your body, whether you're going to the gym or you're wanting to do some physical activity outside or outdoors, and then it's done, okay? And then you're putting actions in place to solidly implement a really good habit. This, like I've just said, falls into you making it a habit. So making it a habit is the toughest part and that initial stage of you implementing a new habit can be really difficult. But it's actually been proven that it can take between two months to 66 days to make that habit an automatic thing. But this is just a rough estimate that I found in a journal article by James Clear called How Long Does It Actually Take to Implement a Habit? It's 100% okay to make mistakes. It's 100% okay to as a lot of people say, fall off the bandwagon or fall off track, but you've got to see it in the light of you're not falling off track, but you're failing failing forward. Not being in the mentality of, oh, I've missed a day. Okay, now I've missed two days, three days. Oh, I may as well just give up. Don't give up. Why give up? It's how you pick yourself back up after falling down. So you're going to have days when you are tired and fatigued and your body might be sore or you just can't be bothered and that's okay. And allowing yourself those days and schedule it into your everyday life. This is setting you up for the week and at least you know the times and the days that you've accommodated to either going to the gym or doing some sort of physical activity. Darling, you me. I you. The next tip is I feel like sometimes people go into the gym and they think that they need to be in the gym for an hour plus. You absolutely don't need to be in the gym for longer than an hour. Like you can totally get a good workout in 30 minutes. So don't underestimate the value of just 
doing a small group of exercises and executing it well you have a lot more benefit from doing that don't get sucked into the trap of thinking that you need to be in the gym for that long to get results and the last tip is Incorporate it into your social life. So ask people to exercise with you. Ask your friends to join you. Ask your friends to go for a walk with you. Ask your friends to do a yoga class, Pilates class, a gym class, anything like that, because then at least you're kind of killing two birds with one stone and you can socialize while exercising. Getting people to join in on the activity with you can be more motivating and it can take the focus away from the time. So hopefully it will go a little bit quicker. Makes it a whole lot easier for you and you can improve your health along the way. So why would you not want to? But I don't always recommend relying on people to get you to the gym or getting you to exercise because then you can become too reliant on other people and not actually you know be independent or do it by yourself so I would always like have a good balance don't always rely on others but it's a really great way to incorporate a little bit of variety into your exercise regime and to just keep it interesting and fun okay so that is going to wrap up this YouTube video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you don't put too much pressure on yourself especially going into the new year with your fitness goals and health goals and just take each day as it comes and try and do one little thing every day that makes you feel good but I'm going to end the video here please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really supports me and I'm bringing out a new video every single week but other than that I will see you in my next video Bye.